you have. You have. Y'all squeeze a little bit tighter. Miss Deanna, you can get over here. Y'all can kind of like talk to the middle. Okay. Okay. How frustrating was tonight for you guys? It was very frustrating. Uh, I'm, we're just trying to do the right thing and make sure that people are treated right. We, we have a hostile work environment in the city of Fort Worth right now. There's several people that are actually sick because of what's going on out there. Emotionally sick because of what's going on. Uh, they don't know who's next. Uh, and according to everything that we've read and been told, the mayor and council can all, is the only one that can fire a department head, but this city administrator fired a department head. And he don't have the authority to do that. How do you see a way around this? Are we going to be at the same spot next month at the we, same type of meeting? We got people working on it. Uh, it's, it's going to let us know something definitely in a, in a month or two. But, you know, we're just going to have to stand strong until we find out what's right. It is so sad. We, it, could, we couldn't get past the uh, approval of the agenda. And we had people here to, to take care of business. And they didn't get their business taken care of. And this guy walked in into the job with a contract in hand that uh, he'll be making one hundred thirty-three thousand dollars a year. Our last administrator was making ninety-four hundred. I mean, ninety-four thousand. Um, you know, uh, I, I didn't sign his contract, and I'm not going to sign it because if he came in the right way, I would have signed it. But this was the wrong way that it, all this happened. I didn't interview him. Linda didn't interview him. We didn't see his contract, and he got he got he got voted on on a Thursday night. Friday morning he had a contract in hand. So he already knew he was getting this job. I didn't know a thing about it. So for you the crux of the issue is how it happened and not that he was ultimately hired him as a That's right. We have, a, we have an I, I, HR policy. We, we are supposed to vet these. Um, we have an application process. It's open and then people file for the, for, you know, file an application and then we weed through them and then we interview them. And, and then from there, um, mayor and council can appoint or can hire them. There was no, there was no uh, um, ad put out that this job was open. That's right. And he just walked into it. Uh, there's a lot of people that, you know, had more experience than him. Our uh, policy says two to five years of experience. He only has eight months experience. And there was a lot of candidates to Mr. Phil Jones uh, last year. and. Uh, he had to, he still got the the uh, applications, and he said this one's good, this one's good, and the one this guy, he said he didn't have enough experience, so he was not in the pile. Obviously, nothing got resolved tonight. So, where do you see this going from here? Well, I think the, I think uh, the state and maybe the superior court is going to step in and tell us what's right and what's wrong. Hey, hey, if they tell me this is right. By God, it's okay. But if they tell me it's wrong, I'm telling you, the city of Port Orange is fixing to see some big lawsuits. Because we got we got two people that have lost their jobs, and here it is right before Christmas, and um, you know it's just wrong. It's it's wrong, and people don't know who's next. It's a hostile environment right now. Okay, and, 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 and oh, sorry. I was going to say, Barbie, the original um, email from Ms. Johnson to the media, or to me at least, said that termination of the city attorney was on the agenda. It was. be added. But you said that Mr. Corsi resigned. He resigned that, yesterday. Yesterday, okay. Yes. Okay, and uh, also a, a police computer was uh, taken by the city administrator, and it was taken to Sumitsu, and they were told to download it, and... Uh, see if anything was erased off of it. He doesn't have the authority to do that. Only law enforcement can do that. Mayor, so now it's said, in lockup. Excuse me. When you said lawsuits, who who would be filing these lawsuits? Or is that just a guess, a prediction? Chief Libby. He already has. Chief Libby and Cheryl Davis. And we have sought counsel. You two individually or? Yes. OK. We sure have. Mm -hmm. What was Cheryl Davis' title one more time? She was a, uh, a clerk, clerk too. Okay, gotcha. she, She's been with the city almost 14 years, had nothing in her file. And uh, um, just one day he came in and said, we had four complaints on you, you're fired. And so I asked him, I want to see the complaints. He don't have no written complaints. There's nothing in her file, there's nothing in Libby's file. So as of right now, um, Chief Libby and um, Mrs. 
babies are, are gone. That's right. That's exactly but we, right. But we don't know if they actually have the right to do that. Exactly. That's, that's right. Going through. Okay. See, the mayor should know about it, and he didn't know about either one of them being fired until after they were fired. Mm -hmm. And had it on the had it on the agenda, uh, they were trying to add to the agenda the termination of Mr. Corsi, but Mr. Corsi resigned yesterday because he doesn't want to be a part of this. He has an a outstanding record, outstanding, and he is not going to be a part of this. Twenty-five years of the Department of Justice, Jimmy Corsi. And he resigned yesterday. You yes. Said. Anything else? We need to, any message you want to give to your employees or the city, the residents? Yeah, I just tell my employees to, you know, just try to do your job and leave everything else out of it. Don't get into politics. Just do your job. And and uh, you know, I, I I can't say what next is going to happen with the employees, but I hate to see them having to look over your shoulder everywhere they go. What does tonight's turnout say about this issue? It says that. They think that the mayor and two council members are correct. And also, they, they have four council members, basically, and they're known as the Williams team. I don't mind telling you that. Uh, but they have the vote. They have the vote. But um, he is still the mayor. <laughs> and I'm a councilwoman, too. And also, uh, Mr. Heron is. And... In January, Mr. Jones is coming on board. But, you know, we were not in the process whatsoever. And in November meeting, we were caught off guard. Well, that won't happen again. That won't happen again. And, and tell us why this just isn't sour grapes, That because the vote didn't go the way you would have wanted. Or no, you said, said no. It it, you'd be okay with it if it was a legal vote. If it was a legal vote and we had vetted this guy <laughs> and everybody could actually have a voice in it, you know, that would be different. Yeah, if we had received the applications, gone through them, and vetted him, and then had the interviews, but none of that was done, not but by I, us. I think the problem was that Mr. Jones, Mr. Phil Jones, had already looked at his application and noted it at the top, not enough experience, and put it in the other pile. Not qualified. Not qualified. Mm -hmm. What about uh, Mr. Barbie and Ms. Johnson's attempts to uh, remove you remove from the you. chair? They, I don't know. I don't know. We, we'll check on that, too. But from what I understand, they couldn't do it. So, I mean, I'm sure they got somebody telling them they could. So, I, I, just, I just hate all this is happening. I didn't run for mayor for this, you know? And also, them adjourning a meeting with all the public here, and people here to take care of business. None of that got heard. Well, did you want it to, the meeting to be adjourned or take a recess? I wanted to take because a recess. You had said adjourn the meeting. I wanted to we? take a recess. I meant to say recess, and that's what I should have done. But <coughs> they didn't want to do that. They wanted to gavel but, through. But in the end, Deb, M Debbie Johnson, she uh, asked for an adjournment, and then who was it that seconded it? I don't even know. I think Barbie did. But um, and then. The, they called for the vote on the adjournment, and then they were up and gone. You know, so it's well, basically what they say goes. We're going to ramrod our way through. We're going to get what we want, and that's the way it's going to be. And, you know, and that's not the way it's going to happen. Not legally. You cannot do this. You cannot do this. We are a government here. You, you can't tell me that this guy comes to the meeting on a Thursday night, sits back there in the back. They elect him new interim city administrator, he pops up, he leaves, he shows up at City Hall with a contract in hand that I hadn't seen, she, she hadn't seen, Mr. Bill hadn't seen, Mr. Phil hadn't seen, the attorney hadn't seen. And then the, the clerk calls me and said, Mr. Steve wants you to come sign his contract. And I said, well, that's not going to happen. And I haven't signed it yet, and I'm not going to sign it. 